electric motorcycles have proved to be a perfect solution for city commuting. They're economical, easy to operate, and have exceptionally low running costs. Today, we're looking at the newest models that would be perfect companions for your urban commuting needs. Let's get started. After more than four years since the unveiling of the RQI motorcycle in its conceptual form, New states that the company is finally ready to start its mass production. The city-oriented A1 Legal Motorcycle is New's first try in the e-motorcycle segment since this brand is primarily known for making e-scooters. The latest report suggests that RQI bikes will start appearing in dealerships all over the globe in late 2024, early 2025. The electric heart of the RQI bike is represented by a 7.5 kilowatt mid-mounted motor with a chain drive. The powertrain will bring you to the speed of 31 mph in 2.9 seconds and top out at the speed of 68 mph. New RQI draws power from two 72-volt, 36-amp-hour battery packs that are rated for 125 miles of riding. The batteries are removable and are placed vertically in the so-called fuel tank area and take 7 hours to be recharged from a domestic power outlet. The two battery units account for 105 pounds of the bike's overall 410-pound curb weight. RQI received a decent set of motorcycling parts, namely an inverted suspension fork, a front brake caliper with radial mounting, dual-channel ABS, and Pirelli tires. As for the high-tech components, you can count on full LED lighting and a TFT dash that is used to activate launch and cruise control systems, switch between different power modes, and display output from front and rear security cameras. Speaking of safety and security, the bike is also equipped with a keyless ignition, GPS tracking, and a steering lock. Raison Motorcycles Bohemia Raison Motorcycles is a brand new European e-bike manufacturer that was started by people who had previously worked on supplying battery-powered motorbikes from Asian markets. No longer relying on overseas partners, this manufacturer from the Czech Republic is planning to bring a long-range, full-size electric motorcycle with a competitive price in the upcoming months. With one of the biggest battery packs in its class, Raison Bohemia can cover up to 160 miles on a charge, while being able to reach speeds up to 86 miles per hour. Besides being able to sustain highway speeds, the 11 kilowatt motor with 20 kilowatt peak capabilities will need just 6 seconds to reach 60 mph from a standstill. Once the 15.3 kilowatt battery is depleted, you would need only 150 minutes to get back on the road owing to the support of high-speed 6.6 kilowatt CCS technology. A good set of motorcycling parts makes Bohemia a desirable option for people looking for a sustainable means of urban transportation and a proper alternative to the 125cc class. You're getting dual four-piston Nissan brakes in the front and two piston brakes in the rear, 17-inch wheels with Michelin tires, a 5-inch main display, a secondary 4.3-inch display, and ABS as a standard feature. Last year, Yadia, an internationally recognized manufacturer of electric scooters and rideables, showcased their first entry into the electric motorcycle class. This year, however, Yadia has decided to raise the performance bar even further and showcased an even more capable two-wheeler. Besides getting a 23-kilowatt mid-drive motor, the upcoming Yadia Kemper also puts a great emphasis on fighting range anxiety. The bike is equipped with a 320-volt, 20-amp-hour battery with lithium iron phosphate chemistry. This battery supports fast charging at public stations through Type 2 and CCS connectors. Consequently, you would be able to restore 80% of the range in just 10 minutes. However, the manufacturer has not shared the estimated range figure yet. In terms of performance, the Kemper could easily compete with its 125cc, if not 250cc counterparts. With 40 kilowatts of peak output and 420 pound-feet of wheel torque, this bike easily sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and can climb hills with 30 degree inclines. The top speed is said to be limited to 100 miles per hour. The standard configuration gets you Brembo brakes with ABS, a KYB inverted fork, and a KYB mid-mount shock. 
Glass D LED headlamps, and a 7-inch TFT Smart dashboard that is connected to the Yadea control app. Zero S the undisputed leader of the electric motorcycles niche showcased their updated product line for the 2024 model year at the Milan Motor Show. The entry-level Model S naked sport bike takes the central stage with a new FST platform that already underpins higher spec SRF. This change brings a new Z4 75.7 motor, twice as big 14.4 kWh battery pack, and refreshed styling with proprietary concentric motor placement and swing arm pivot design. Zero's engineers claim 154 miles max range, an overall power increase from 46 to 68 horses, and torque surge from 78 to 97 pound-feet. The Zero S gets the latest Cypher 3 Plus software with over-the-air updates, arsenal of driving modes, and some paid features that can improve your bike after it has left the factory. This new electric naked offers a steel trellis frame, custom swing arm, and advanced Showa suspension. Finally, the braking system features J1 calipers and is controlled by an advanced Bosch motorcycle stability control. How do you like these models so far? Would you replace your current daily driver with one of these? Share your thoughts below. We'll keep rolling. x Unit 00 Destined to be one of the flashiest rides on any road, the new x Unit 00 is a cyberpunk-inspired electric motorcycle with performance capabilities comparable to the 125cc class. The motorbike comes with a rear single-sided swing arm and a 17-inch rear hub motor with 5 kilowatts of nominal output. Thanks to the 12 kilowatt peak output parameter, you can expect to ride at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. The motor is juiced by a three-piece battery pack with 10.8 kilowatt hours of combined capacity. Every module is removable for your charging convenience and requires 3.5 hours to restore its full capacity from a 1.8 kilowatt charger. The bike's powertrain has three power modes from the factory, and you can switch between them with the help of a smartphone app or the TFT control display. The manufacturer estimates that the riding autonomy can reach 110 miles in the least demanding power mode. Besides controlling the power output, the smartphone app also has a navigation feature and controls for the exterior lighting. Regent is a Swedish manufacturer that is focused on fusing the latest e-bike technology with legacy motorcycle designs. Each model is treated as a work of art. All bikes are handcrafted in Sweden and need from 8 to 10 weeks to be put together. At the moment, their lineup consists of two bikes, number one Classic and number one Scrambler. Both Scrambler and Classic models are equipped with an 11 kilowatt rear hub motor and a 7.7 .7 kilowatt hour battery pack. This powertrain setup can guarantee up to 75 miles of riding in the mixed cycle. Besides having good riding autonomy and 77 mph top speed capabilities, these motorbikes have a great technological package. They support fast charging, letting you restore 80% of the range in about 4 hours. They also have a 7-inch LCD touch display, cloud connectivity, as well as a GPS system. If you're looking for improved performance and range parameters, Regent Motorcycles have recently started offering the SE package for their bikes. With the SE treatment, you get a motorcycle with 21 kilowatts of peak motor output, 287 pound-feet of torque, a 9.5 kilowatt-hour battery pack, and up to 92 miles of range autonomy. Mantis by Orja Energies Orja Energies was founded with a goal to ambush internal combustion motorbike manufacturers and beat them in their own game. Their first production model has hit showrooms across India, and now riders can experience the praying mantis predator in action. This two-wheeler gets a liquid-cooled motor that produces a peak power output of 27 horsepower and 69 pound-feet of maximum torque. Its 8.9 kilowatt-hour battery is non-removable with the claimed range of 138 miles under the Indian driving conditions. The Mantis is constructed with an all-aluminum aerospace-grade alloy frame and subframe, a pioneering feature in its segment. 
It's equipped with a 41mm telescopic fork at the front and a preload adjustable monoshock at the rear. The braking system features a single-channel ABS that works with a front 320mm disc with a four-piston radial caliper and a 230mm rear disc with a single-piston floating caliper. Evoke Motorcycles Urban Classic The Hong Kong-based Evoke Motorcycles have recently introduced a series of updates to their Urban Classic motorcycle that should make it faster, longer-lasting, and as a result, more appealing for an average rider. The improved rear hub motor brings 25 kilowatts of output and a 147 pound-feet torque parameter that is instantly available at 1 RPM. With the new battery pack with 10 kilowatt hours of capacity, this 460-pound machine can cover up to 156 miles in the urban cycle while reserving its sporty character and 87 mph per hour speed capabilities for the highway. When the time to change comes, you'll be exceptionally satisfied to find the newly introduced 3.3 kilowatt onboard charge and the support of the L2 charging stations. It should also be noted that the 6.6 kilowatt charger is offered as a paid option. Among other innovations, we should also note a new 5-inch control screen with day and night modes for better high visibility, backlit switches, a 7-inch LED headlight, cross-stitched leather seats, dual-piston twin disc brakes, and a black anodized handlebar. The updates also concerted the smartphone control app that gives you more tools to monitor and manage your bike's performance. This year, as part of Can-Am's 50th anniversary celebration, Bombardier Recreational Products BRP, issued an announcement confirming that in 2024, Can-Am will start mass-producing battery electric vehicles. The manufacturer held a short press conference where it showcased two upcoming models. These models received the Can-Am Origin and Can-Am Pulse nameplates. The Can-Am Origin is developed as a tribute to the brand's heritage in motocross racing. It's a dual-sport model that is said to offer a modern, multi-terrain riding experience and bring electrified excitement to both the streets and the trails. The Can-Am Pulse is an electric city bike that is destined to turn your daily commutes into near-silent, zero-emission experiences. Both models got futuristic design elements and seem to share a unique visual signature, a characteristic high-performance LED headlamp. Despite having their own distinct designs, ergonomics, and belonging to different bike classes, both two-wheelers will be powered by a newly developed Rotax ePower technology. The brand is planning to start selling their newcomers by the end of 2024. However, further information about the powertrain specifications, suspension components, and MSRP prices are yet to be revealed. Brecker Model B 7000 If you're one of those people who liked the looks of the Brecker Model B moped but criticized it for being too slow, then you would definitely like this news. For the upcoming model year, this Dutch e-mobility company is bringing a more potent version of their iconic e-moped. Having received the B7000 nameplate, this two-wheeler keeps everything we liked about the original moped but gives it more power, better brakes, and suspension. With a 7 kilowatt strong rear hub motor, this A1 Category E motorcycle will be able to travel at speeds up to 43.5 mph and cover distances up to 60 miles, owing to the use of a 4.1 kilowatt hour battery pack. To deal with higher performance capabilities, the model received a new linked braking system and new suspension system with gas shocks at the rear. As a result, this 200 pound machine can be used to carry two passengers with the max payload capacity of 352 pounds. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.